All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday Moves. There's Marcella. I was like, where'd she go? So we're wanting to jump start tonight with talking about um, just some things um, on the news tab. I don't know how often you guys look at the news tab, but it's definitely a great habit. I try to check it um, at least once a day, but normally more than once a day. I'd always check it first thing in the morning, even though they're behind us and I there's definitely not anything added at 7 a.m., but I always do check just to make sure. Um, so some things coming. Um, the November whiff box, a few of them did slip out with some reindeer bitty buddies in them. I'm super jealous that I wasn't one that slipped out with the reindeer bitty buddy. Did you but get your cat? No, I, I haven't. Either you don't know, you may get one. You I never didn't know. order mine on the first. I ordered mine on like the fifth, so I didn't get one. But that hopefully does mean that at some point before um, Christmas, we will get some bitty buddies that are reindeer and I will have to have them or I will cry. So that's something that's coming. Today we had the um, release of the um, All Aglow Warmer Collection. Um, they did come in three sizes. They have not sold out yet, right, Marcella? They have not sold out yet? No, nope, not yet. Nope. They, I believe from seeing, if you did not see them, um, if you didn't attend like the virtual SFR, they are freaking gorgeous. I got one of each. I had to have them all. I used host rewards, so I didn't lose my button money, but I was able to get all three of them for 70 bucks. And I think that's a score. Um, let's see the new, two new ways to wear Cincy fragrance, the new um, infinity wrap and wear bracelets. Those are coming. They're going to be $12, which, or wait, infinity is $12, 12 free. wrap and wear is $25. So it must come, it must be a two piece scented in wrap and wear. Yeah, it must be two pieces. Um, there's a whole news tab article on that. So let's see. When is that coming? Did that, when is that coming? I'm not even, I need to get on my news tab. Um, uh, doesn't have a date on here. It just says when coming soon. So keep an eye on your news tab for that. I do think these will be really cute. Um, this is what they look like. If you oh, yeah. seen, and you can cut them to fit like the little egg it will come in like this little egg and you can cut them to fit your wrist. If you're somebody who's like me, who has itty bitty little wrists, these are screaming for your customers or children. Even your little kid wants something that's sensey. And those, the friendship ones that we had a couple months back were super cute, but they were, they just fell off of me. I couldn't get them small enough. So this is a little, um, another option for those. Um, the holiday collection warmer who has been with Sensi for one of the collector edition warmers. Me, me, me. Okay, so it looks like um, I can't see everybody else's faces, but the two I can see did not have their hands up. So these are a higher price point warmer. I know some of some of us see that $160 price tag and you're like, oh my goodness, that's crazy. Well, let me just say my first year with Sensi, it was a snow globe with a snowman inside. It was like $130. I thought the same thing but they really are unlike any other Scentsy warmer. They are numbered. So they are a collector's item and they are really the, the detail that's put into these. That snow globe is my all time favorite warmer I've ever had and ever will have. Um, I have not obviously had this year's in my hand to see it, but it is a skating ring. The little skaters do move. It is still a warmer. It's an element warmer. The warmer is on the back. Um, so that is coming uh november 15th. next monday yep next 15 uh next 15 wow next monday november 15th yep so it is 160 dollars and is 110 prv make sure you're keeping that in mind when you're calculating host rewards it is 110 prv um as always make sure you're checking that product status list every day because they're you're, that's where you're going to get communication on when things are coming back um, if things are coming back um, with projected dates. So make sure you're checking that every day. Um, there was an issue with host credit in some items. Um, 
for pre-sale redemptions and things like that. There is a news tab article on it. I got an email today stating that um, it was an error and that I will be getting a product credit. So check your email um, and you may have some product credit as well. If you don't know how to use product credit, let me know and we can talk about that. Um, they have made upgrades to the reporting section of workstation as well so those are all just some new things um if you do not know how to navigate your new um the news section you can get marketing images and all kinds of things learn it just sit play around in it and you know you're not going to mess anything up but that's the only way to really learn and search and all of that it this really workstation is our bible so anything you wanted to add to that marcella or donna um Anything that you're most excited about that's coming? I'm excited about those trees today. I, I'm not going to be honest. I, I I love those trees. I think we could do so much for them. I yeah, was, that was shocked that I thing. didn't get more pre-orders for that, but I and think people just aren't really in that Christmas decorating mindset yet, truthfully. And unfortunately, yeah. they'll probably be gone by the time people are ready. I'm that's actually going to... What did you think? What are you most excited for? You. I'm sorry. To you. Hear. Oh, you. me. Um, it was yeah. the trees today. Yeah, I, I'm really, really excited for the trees. And I do think that those little bracelets will be cute. Um, little stocking stuffers. If you forgot about them, those. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yep. So that is, I, we're going to start trying to kick off Mondays talking about um, some news tab articles. That way, if there's any questions about them, um, we can address that. Um, but that is where all communication that we give you nine times out of 10, it's coming from that section of workstation. But tonight, what I want to talk about, what we are all going to talk about is IPAs versus fluff. Does anyone know what IPA stands for? And it's not a beer. <laughs> you had me at IPA. Yeah. Does anyone know what IPA stands for? Anyone at all? Income producing activities. Yes, income producing activities. That is what an IPA is. Income producing activities. Things that you should be doing in your business versus fluff. Fluff are things that are extras, but they're probably not going to make you any money. And the reason why this is so important when you're new in your business is the higher up you go in your business, you can maybe add in some fluff, right? Because you, you've got systems in place. Your business is running pretty smoothly. You're not overwhelmed with all of the things. So fluff can come later. Right now, tonight, what we're going to talk about is getting that fluff out of there. No fluff. I'm going to give you some examples of fluff. Some of the girls are going to talk about things that instead of doing the fluff activity, where you can turn that into an IPA that is actually going to make you money and grow your business. Okay. So that's what we're going to talk about. Um, does anyone have a, an idea of what they think fluff, like, give me an example of what fluff might be. Just, just one example real quick. What do you think? What is fluff in your business? Just, just shout it out guys. Happy mail. No, happy mail no. is an IPA. No, we'll talk about it in just a minute. That I was think a good it depends on how you do it. Yes, it definitely does end up how you do it for sure. You can turn happy mail into fluff real, real fast. Right, but, by not following uh, it. Oh yes, absolutely. What um, what else is a, a fluff? You Making fluff? all the fires. That's actually the first one we're going to talk about. So that'll lead me right into it. So fluff would be when I like for example I first started out I felt like I needed to I didn't want to use what anybody else was using because then I just looked like someone else so I need to make my own flyers but really I would spend hours making these flyers I am a flyer freaking expert now and sometimes you might want to make a cute little flyer here and there but like you know if you're doing a cover photo for your party yes that that is okay but you know, I'm guilty of spending hours making a flyer for every single warmer and for six packs of bars and doing all of these things when really that's not making me any money. What is a way, um, Donna, that we can turn, what is the alternative to make an income producing activity versus flyers? It's going to, you're doing the same thing, but you're making money, like it's going to help you make money doing it. 
If you need an example, let me know. I can give you an example. Say that question one more time. So instead of making flyers, 100 flyers, what can you do that would be an IPA in that same category? Like you're still getting images across. Take your own photos. Take your Real own life photos. photos. But yep. what if you don't have the picture? You don't have that warmer. Um, borrow it from a friend. <laughs> yes. Pinterest, Google, Team Facebook. Paper, Facebook. And the marketing tab. Face, uh, workstation marketing tab. Absolutely. And if I'm going you to go tell to Facebook what? and mm -hmm. you search Sensi and the name of the warmer and then click on images, you will get a ton of images for real life photos. Some people will put their website in the photo. Make sure you do not grab one of those because then your customers are gonna be going over there. Correct. Um, authentic sensational pics, Facebook grow up is awesome. Okay, I haven't heard of that one. Um, I got um, where I was joining tons of groups and it became overwhelming. So. What I do is I just go and get real live photos. Um, but another thing that you can do is go live with anything that you have. I promise that will pay for itself 10 times over versus the fluff of making the flyer. So get real life photos. I don't even really like using the marketing tab images unless it's a licensed product and that's what we have to do. Real life photos. And I don't claim that they're like in my living room. I'll be like, um, like I use this one today. I got this picture. Let me just give you a quick little thing of how I did this. There was this picture and it says, wash your hands, you filthy animal. And it's in a bathroom. And there's a, a fragrance flower and a soap. I said, uh, what I posted, I posted this in my VIP group. And I said, look what a customer sent me. Isn't this so cute? A cus I mean, uh, seriously, someone did this and it wasn't me. That is a really good one. Asking customers for pics too. They love sending them to me. It, some I don't even have to ask anymore. Yes, it, Aaron, take it a step further and ask them, would you mind sharing that on your pay Facebook and tagging me? Because now you've turned that into marketing. Yeah, I do. That's brilliant. Love that. Marketing images are always gorgeous, but real life pics are always better. Yes, I 100% agree that a real life picture that don't look staged, it looks like it's in someone's livable house is gonna get you further. So I'm gonna move on to the next one. This one's gonna have a little bit of controversy. Um, everybody is going to feel different, but me mailing out and making tons of samples to mail out every month to me is fluff if you were just starting your business. And some of us even, further you know if you're 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 making out all these samples and you're you're mailing them all over the place even it even when you're first starting out even if you are following up with all of them there are ways that you're not going to be spending tons of money that you can do the same thing so when you're first starting out i really feel that making all of the samples and mailing them all out is fluff um, what is something that you could do besides buying every single thing because you just started, you're brand new. What is some things that could be, you could do that would be an IPA that is still letting people know about the sense and, and getting them to smell sensey, but not necessarily every single LTO bar. What is some um, things, Jess, I see you now. Give me, um, give me an example of an income producing activity that wouldn't be buying every single bar and mailing it to every single person. Man, I don't know. I'm not good at this. That's okay. Bag parties, offer bag parties and put all the samples in there and have them collect orders while they're sampling. <laughs> I like so, that, that's a good one. To be, okay, so to be completely honest, you're asking from the standpoint of, you know, you're in the very beginning of your business, right? And you don't want to spend all the time and all the money doing all the samples, all the things. Yeah. I, I mean, I've talked about this before. Um, I really like the rub and sniff stickers yep. um, because you can get so many of them for such a small price 
and you put them on a literal piece of paper that you can literally mail with a stamp. And if you can mail them on a postcard, you can mail it for 35 cents. Um, love that. I really love that option. Uh, but I don't suggest going out and buying every single cent in every single sticker. You don't need that. Give them one or two. Actually, you know what? Um, the scent of the month kit, right? Those come with stickers. Mm-hmm. Save up enough money. Like, even if it takes you like two months, get one cent of the month kit. You have some stickers to work with then, or borrow them from an upline and tell her that someday you'll pay her back. Honestly, one of your sponsors or whatever is probably just going to give them to you for free. Like if it, like if, if you're in the beginning and you really just want to get going, um, don't spend what you don't have. Um, and don't do a lot of fluffy samples. It's, it's weird. Like in the beginning, I, I, I'm not like no offense or anything, but like, you know, in the very uh, beginning, that's not an IPA. Honestly, no. And not even like, even now, I'm not in the very I'm not in the very beginning of my business anymore. And I don't even do fluffy samples. Like I, I just, We're gonna get to like, that I part do. Yeah. The, the I mold do, is that what you're talking about. Yeah. Like I, like I did away with that. Like I, I never even really got into it because it's so much. Yeah. Um, I don't want to step on anyone's toes if that's what you love to do, but listen, like that's your for, the, for the, for yeah. the, yeah, I love those. That's, that's my favorite. Um, anyway, I'll stop, but yeah, yeah anyone else that. have anything? I love that, Jess. I think that you hit, you know, exactly what I was talking about. I understand that, you know, there are going to be people, you know, that say you need to get every sample and at, at a certain point in your business, you may be able to get every LTO bar, like hell yeah, go girl. You know what I mean? But we're talking about somebody who just signed up today, you know, IPAs that they could do to make money. Okay. So that one, um, I really love that. Marcella, Donna, either of you have anything to add or did just cover it? You got testers in your kit. You sure enough do. And I want to say something about that. When I first started, this is an idea that you can do. So most people, I think every kit comes with testers. What, yeah. what I did, because I couldn't spend tons of money when I first started, I literally had I was on maternity leave. I didn't even receive a dime of my paternity leave money until I got back to work. So I was broke and had a newborn. So what I did, me and my daughter would grab like a handful of testers and we went live every single Monday and we smelled them, told them what we were smelling. People were drawn to that. I and wanted to buy from, from, I was a consultant. Yeah, Marcella tuned into my Monday call, like my little live every Monday. And I didn't tell her that she had, don't say that that one doesn't smell good. No, she didn't like it. She would straight up tell you that smelled like foot. I don't like it. And she was off the wall with it. And then I would tell them, you know, what notes was in it. I would read the description, things like that. That's what I did. And it didn't cost me a single dime. And it was something I was able to do with my daughter. And so there's ways around did you it. build up your customer base like that? I did. I built, I built up a huge, strong customer base where people would tune in yeah. and it was nice. We did it every single Monday. So that is a, an example that you can do. And that was an IPA that didn't cost me money and it wasn't fluff. It just took a little bit of my time, which IPAs are a time. You need to be careful with your time, but that was a good one. Um, another one just, just hit is next on my line was doing those molds. I'm going to tell you a couple of reasons why you, that is fluff, guys. <clears throat> I understand that some of them look cute, but if you're mailing them, they're not going to look like what you sent, first of all. Second of all, <clears throat> they use a ton of wax. They're not flat. So now you cost more to mail them. I found that when I was mailing big, like, you know, full sample sizes, like a half a cube or even a full cube or whatever, I was getting so many people that were requesting me to send them samples. And even when I would follow up with them, they'd go, oh, not right now. I'd be like, oh, did you like that scent I sent you? Oh, yeah, I loved it. Well, I'd love to get you a six pack. <clears throat> oh, no, I don't want to order anything right now. And they would literally ask me for samples every time I said, does anyone need samples? So I stopped because the sample is not for them to use and smell up their whole house and never have to buy. It's literally just for them to smell what it smells like. Do I like it so I can order? So a sticker, a little sliver with that crinkle cutter that Marcella held up. Hold that up again. It's a crinkle cutter. You literally get it on Amazon for $7. Oh, so, 
felt samples is a really good one in the summertime. Yes, Donna, I think that was you. Those do take a little bit more time than just crinkle cutting, but they're going to be flat. And if you live in a hot place or it's hot where you live currently, whenever you're mailing, you do not, you're going to want to do a felt. Megan Lee, tell her, tell us what you do with your felt samples that make it super fast. So I just use my crinkle cutter, put in the felt inside of my thing. I put the felt in my little bag, a chunk of the thing. It melts itself to she sits it the like felt. Out in the sun. Then she yeah. ain't waiting on it to melt in the warmer and then dipping it in, letting it cool off and then putting it in a bag. She would literally just, and I didn't know to do that. And she would literally just cut it up and then stick it in the bag and let the sun do its job while she kept working because she does a lot of furs outside on her table. So that is a quick way. You're cutting the fluff. They're getting what they need. Love it. Um, here's another one. This is going to be a little bit controversial. If you are not, you're subscribed to tons of apps, but you're not using them. That's fluff. The AMI app. It can be your best friend or biggest money sucker. It's all about but how you use it. Most of them have a free version, get use the free version, learn it, see if you like it. If you love it, then you can go more in depth, but you don't have to buy crap right away. I think everything I use is free. I don't even think I use anything. I only think I pay for anything. I don't even pay for Zoom. I mean, I pay for Zoom. Yeah. Uh, so that is a really big one. AMI, if you're somebody who struggles with organization, but you can hold yourself accountable. It gives you to do's, how many to do's you need to do. You need to reach out to these people. If you follow it, it's going to help you. It's like a personal assistant, but if you are not following it and holding yourself accountable to doing the stuff it's saying to do, you're literally wasting your time, space on your phone and money. If you're paying for it. That reminds me, I need to cancel my Visly. Yes, cancel your Visly so if you're no longer speaking it. I say that. Um, I, so AMI is, you know, obviously when it comes to all of our minds, but Visly Project Broadcast. Um, let me think. There was another one. It's something called Indicia for shipping. Um, it's like a stamps.com type thing. Like, I had so many random subscriptions that I like used at one point and then and they like, add up it, so fast. It's just like, what, what am I doing? Like, what is this? Why am I doing that? So, yes. um, yeah. So just sit it's, down it's one you are subscribed to stuff, sit down, see which ones not you think you're going to use one day. Right. What are exactly. you actually using? Cut like the stuff out. I honestly, oh, Microsoft is another one. I pay for like Microsoft Suite monthly, like, but I always use that. So what I would suggest doing is if it's not something like if you look back in the past month and maybe even two months and you haven't used it, get rid of it, cancel it. What are you doing? Like cancel it right now. Uh -uh, I'm not joking. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that goes for life too. If you've got a ton of TV subscriptions, you oh, don't watch man. them. You'll save I don't even want to get started on, on the life ones. Let's not even do that right now. Here's another one that is fluff. Buying all the things, the planners, the business cards, tons of things to sample, doing all of that. That's fluff. I understand we all need business cards and things, but not day one. Right now, focus on things that are actually making you money. I understand you need to get your name out there, but buy you some Avery 5950, 5960 labels and put your info on them and stick them on everything versus spending money on things like business cards. They're nice, but they're expensive. If you're just starting out, wait, no, and make, some make some money. Hey, KJ, I can I say something real quick? Yeah. Um, so I did an event this past weekend. I did two events and the people that asked me for a card, I was going to take my business cards. I'm like, you know what? I heard a tip and I'm going to try this and see if it works. So I on purpose did not take my cards. I probably had maybe three people ask me if I had a card. And I was like, like I don't, but let me 
text you my information and I got their phone number, texted them. So now they have my contact information and I got their contact information kind of like on the sly. And you could even say, you know, if you feel too forward asking them for your number, be like, if you would like, I can text you or email you all my information. And because some right, people yeah. not want to give out the phone number. Right, I love yeah, that. That's what I did. Yep. Love that. And that's free. Love exactly. that. I yep. love it. So the, we don't, talked about. That's, that's amazing. I, the tip that I heard was just like, hey, do, um, I actually forgot my cards. Do you care if I just like text you a picture of my business card? Boom. There it is. You get their number text them a picture of your business card later i love that and it's free you're not mailing and you're getting their info because you could pass out a hundred business cards but if none of them use that card and get with you what did it do um another thing is i give out um i have pins and everybody loves pins i got these in the success store don't do this if you first started don't do it but this is something that's later on it's fluff for when you first start but people love a pin and it's a good pen and it has my info on it so we talked about fluff. Now I want to talk about IPAs, things that are actually going to make you money now. I'm going to start off with one and then I'm going to kick it off to somebody else. The biggest one for me, I think I have two that are huge. One is do not, do not post and pray. Don't do it. It may work. It may work in the Explain very beginning. Yourself. What that means is don't post on Facebook. Hey, these warmers are releasing today. So cute with a picture. That's great. First of all, algorithms, that's probably not going to get seen a whole lot. You post it and then you don't get any pre-orders or no sales. And you're like, well, nobody wanted it. No, don't post and pray. Send out an email. Send out texts. Do all of the things, do not just post and pray that your business flourishes. That is what I mean by don't post and pray. You have to be reaching out one to one. You have to be going live. You have to be connecting with people. And I was not somebody who liked talking to people or connecting with people. And since he has brought me out of my show, I've said that a bunch, but it's the truth. The more you do it, the more comfortable you're gonna be. Comfortable you're gonna be. I really wish I could post pictures here. So annoying. I don't get it. I really wish I could post pictures here. So annoying. I don't get it. I think she means like in the Zoom actually to show everybody something to share. I have a document. Yeah. Well, maybe share it. Um, share the document on Let's Rise or something. We'll in and we'll go from there. But that is my big one. Don't post and pray. And my second one that is my two biggest is building relationships. I know you've all heard it, but what does that really mean? Is it mean like building relationships and being organic? Well, you might not, there's a lot of people, right? It's little things like you're scrolling your newsfeed and you've seen that Kelly just had surgery. It's reaching out to Kelly. Hey, I hope recovery is going really, really good. How, how is things? And being genuinely concerned. Oh, well, what did, what was it you had done? What's the recovery process on that? Like, is it something that's going to take a while? Do you have to be off work? Oh, that's crazy. Right before the holidays, having to take off work, hopefully you, you know, you, whatever, you know what I mean? Like being actually present in the conversation. If you talk to somebody and I never delete my texts or my messages with people. And I always, if I'm texting them, I always put their contact information in my phone with like Scentsy customer or something. So I know kind of why we talked um, because there's no way you're going to be able to keep it all straight all the time. It, you, you might think you can, you can't. Um, if I know this person really, really likes Blue Grotto. I have a customer that really loves that. It's in my notes section. Um, it's in my notes section that they really like that scent. So I will, you know, I, I try not to, when I'm building relationships, I don't even bring Scentsy up. I let them come to me with Scentsy. I'm building a relationship with them. They're gonna see that I sell Scentsy on my page. And the more interaction I have with that person, 
the more they're out, my, like the algorithm is going to make it where they see my stuff more. Someone bought a brand new car and I'm, I've seen them. I've talked to this person. I sent them a car bar with a little handwritten note. Hope you're loving your new car. It's absolutely beautiful. It needs to smell beautiful too. It's a car bar I had sitting here. You know what I'm saying? Little things like that. Yes, that that is, you know, you'd have to spend some money, but just reaching out. I seen you got a new car. Where did you get it at? Is that what you were looking for? Did it take you forever to find the one that you wanted? Just have conversations. I'm going to read the comments here. I got busted from Facebook for sending 600 messages last week. Yes, um, they will say something. Um, they then will think that you're spam. 600, like to 600 different people would be considered spam. Um, go with quality versus quantity. Be authentic, really building a relationship. Sometimes that's just commenting on posts, not sending messages. You don't want your account to be considered a spam account. So just try to go with quality versus quantity. When I'm at my events, I... I go to the front of my table and talk one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, do not just sit at your table behind your, don't just sit in a chair behind your table and talk and be on your phone. You're not gonna get anywhere. Um, did anyone have anything um, they wanted to add to what I said or are you ready to um, list a IPA you have? <clears throat> Donna, Jess, uh, Marcella. What are we doing? List an IPA, ADD. <laughs> oh you want us to list an ipa yes what is an ipa when you're first starting out you just signed up today give me an ipa uh skip me i'll come back to me let me think about this for a second you caught me off guard donna you got um, an ipa i'm thinking <laughs> i'm actually yeah. trying to get in my house my door is locked and i'm searching for my key sorry will you guys think about it jess do you have one and a party you know an right. ipa you you you, you got to have parties you got a, a income producing activity was you got to have parties you got to post in them yes just thank you for typing that out i love it income producing activities hand out samples if they can smell it you can sell it love that um she said hand out i mean you got to be out don't spend all the money mailing them to book parties yes you have to ask and you have you cannot post and pray you got to reach out, build connections, ask people. You're, when you're first starting out, your best friend, your family, that's when you lean on them to do parties for you. But you have to keep, you have, your goal is, should always be book a party from like your sister. Then book a party off of that party so that now you're meeting one of your sister's friends and building that. That is how you're going to build your customer base because your friends and your family are not going to keep your business afloat They'll help you in the beginning, but you have to, you, you don't want your family feeling like they have to buy stuff from you for you to survive, right? No, no, no. You are trying to always book a party off of a party so that you are meeting people that you would not know otherwise. Um, three, follow up relationship building using the AMI app. I love that. Four, go live on Facebook with products. That's huge. Five contact organizations for fundraisers. I struggle with that one, but it is good. When you're first starting out, that may be a bit intimidating unless you are already somebody who is involved with fundraisers. Um, six, find events. That is a great one. Um, and don't feel like you need to buy all of the things. Take what you got. Um, people can always order off your website at events. They're, you're going to do better if you have cash and carry, but they can order off of your, um, your website. Find takers for borrow bins and pouch parties. Yes, schedule in VIP group, promote Scentsy Club. Find businesses to put warmers in. That's a really good one. Hey, I'd like to donate a warmer um, to your establishment if you, um, and I can bring you a bar a month or whatever. If you don't mind, um, let me put my business card or my QR code and just refer people to me if they ask. Um, mystery host party. Explained what? It. <laughs> what? <laughs> Referrals are always free. Yes, referrals are free. An open house, holiday season, yes. Personal specials and compliance, always. IPA, have joined conversations, yes. Some of those weren't necessarily for day one. I have more too, yes. Um, another one um, is a huge IPA is consistency. 
you cannot pick and choose when you're going to show up for your business because your business will not flourish. It has to be daily. An IPA is scheduling out your posts, scheduling them out because you never know when life is going to throw you a curveball and then your business didn't run today. Schedule out your posts. It's a great thing that we have that. Um, going live and being consistent is going to help you build your brand. People are going to get to know you as long as you are being authentic. That is huge. Um, an IPA follow-up, which um, we kind of talked about a little bit ago. That is huge. If you ain't got a bunch of money, a voice text. With some enthusiasm in your voice, guys. Don't thank you for your order. Now I sound like Eeyore, right? Nobody wants to buy from Eeyore, even though he's super cute. We want to be, thank you so much for your order. Did everything arrive okay? Are you loving it? That is, you know, put some pep in your step, right? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Thank you, mail. Now, at the beginning, we said thank you, mail. You know, it could be fluff. Yes, if you're doing all of the things and it's costing you $3 to mail every single one and you're doing up cute artsy things in all of them and yes, that is fluff and that is something that it don't, especially when you just first start, please don't try to keep up with JC. Don't try to keep up with me. Don't try to keep up with these people you see on YouTube. No, that's fluff. That once you are making good money, if you've got time and systems, you can afford to do that. When you're first starting out, that isn't necessary. It is not necessary. Thank you, mail can be that what I just said vocally, you know, with some enthusiasm. It also can be what I do is a hand, like when I first started out, a handwritten thank you note with the flyer and, and scent sticker and product sheet. That was my thank you mail and I could mail it with one stamp. So thank you mail is very important and it doesn't have to be fluff, but you want to make sure your people feel appreciated. Thank you so much. A handwritten note. It goes a long way. Even a text message, you get their phone, you get their phone number every time they order on your website in the history section, send them a text message. Hey, thanks for your order. That's free. When I say product sheet, who, by a raise of hand that I can see, who knows what a product sheet is? Everybody knows what a product sheet is? Good, good, good. So I throw in one of those. I try fold them. I put them in an A9 envelope. These envelopes are wider, okay? They're a little bit wider. I put one of those in there. Now that I am making more money, I put a scent circle in them. That's the only thing I changed with the amount of money I made from day one to now is I added a scent circle that I get with host rewards half off or free. Um, because I, I, I tried keeping up with the Joneses, right? Doing these big old thank you packages. Guess what? My ass about went broke. Nope, that had to stop. I had, and I even went live on my VIP group and said, hey guys, I got in a little over my britches and I can't do that. So I'm going to have to um, back down the big ass mail things. I didn't say it like that, you know, but whatever. But now my Scentsy Clubbers get the $3 mail, okay? Because they're subscribed and they're getting stuff every month. You get, a, if you subscribe and have Scentsy Club with me for six months, you get a mini fan and a pack of pods for free. Because think about that. That's income that came in that I didn't even have to do anything for. That's pretty awesome, right? So, yes. Now, I gave you guys some time to think. Donna, Marcella, Jess, give me an IPA. There are more. Um, I'm just going to kind of go off of your, um, kind of go off of the, give them a thank you, whether it be thank you card, text, whatever. Instead of purchasing, if you are, if you are mailing out scent circles, Instead of purchasing scent circles and thank you cards, write on the thank you card. I do that. Yeah. Hold up the thing or the, the circle and on the cardboard, just write, I don't know, 
whatever her name is, Kelly, thank you so much for purchasing on my website or whatever. And then there's, there's also these in the success store, which yes, you'd have to spend a little bit of money, but these are thank you postcards. It cost you 35 cents to mail. So that would work too, Donna, if you didn't have the money really to mail the scent circle. What do you think? Did you ever do these? I've never done those, but honestly, I always forget about them. Yeah. And you can stick a scent sticker on there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so that's, that's a great. Too. Yeah. I don't buy thank you cards. I used to, um, I just write on the scent circle as well now, and mm -hmm. they're not giving the scent circle away. Because I see one of my person who ordered quite often. Um, so she got a sense, she had like four or five cent circles and I seen them on like one of the little like yard sale sites. She was selling them. Oh my God. She pulled my sticker off that had my info on it. So I just sent her a message and said, Hey, can you not like, I don't mind you selling them, but can you leave my sticker on there? So people, oh my can gosh, I yeah. even use send circles for, um, like, for example, um, we just took my car to the shop not too long ago. And it was the only place we could find that could get it in before freaking December because of no employees, whatever. So I wrote, I made it, I got a, a, a car sent circle and I put on there, you know, I put the guy's name, the, like the service manager's name, and I said, thank you so much um, for being able to get my car in as soon as you did and blah, blah, blah. So I even give scent circles away for that with my stamp on it to get my name out there. Yes, love that. Marcelo, do you have an IPA? Um, it's not actually an activity, but to be honest with you, we, what you were talking about a lot of fluff, the a main IPA is your own personal business. You got to concentrate on your own personal business. Quit worrying about um, Sally Sue doing this or whatever. You have to work on your own personal business. And if that means having a join conversation, if that means having a club conversation, being intentional about your conversations, those are an IPA that's really, really important. Now, when you become a leader, you got to, you know, do team page and all that stuff. And that's why we always scream have your 500 in before you do any of that fluff, because that doesn't matter. You're not going to get anywhere unless you don't have your, your business taken care of. So I think that's important to me. Yes. We can definitely have a night where we talk about um, once you've sponsored and you've become a leader, what that means. Um, yeah. if you guys would be interested in learning about, we can definitely do that. Um, we, we don't have to, um, we need you guys' feedback. That's a, that kind of leads me into that. We had asked for, you know, what do you guys want to hear about? And we did get the IPA versus fluff because some people didn't know what fluff meant. Um, so we, that way we was able to go into this tonight, but I would really, really love it to get some feedback. So right now, shout out something that you would like to learn about in the upcoming, upcoming weeks. Give me some ideas and I'm going to write them down. So just, just, either type them in the chat or shout them out right now. What are some things that you, and there's no such thing as silly. Let's hear it. What do you want? To, um, the leader conversation. Okay. So leader and what that means. Okay. I like that. What else? We do this every week. So we need lots of ideas. So let's hear it. We, we can't help you guys unless you help us. We can't read your guys' mind. personal specials. That's one thing I actually wanted to touch on. I have it written here and I totally forgot. So once you have been with us for a little bit um, and your business is kind of um, going, then create your own um, personal specials. And I, we can, we'll do a whole night on personal, well, maybe like a part of a night on personal specials and how to come up with them. How to come up with them but if you are first starting out and I would say if you're within your first six months use the bundles that your upline has ha, has given you if you have not been given any ideas for bundles reach out 
reach out to me. I'll help you out. There's so many 10 bar, 12 bar, um, all kinds of things. Um, that but if you don't have the right, that it could cost you money. If you yes. don't have so, so we many can people definitely go over that, but that's why I think Marcella, it's so important not to try to come up with your own in right. the beginning because I, I you can agree use with you. your butt. Yeah. So yes, you can. just use the bundles that yes. are available to you right now that have already been broken down to where you're not going to lose money. Yeah. And Especially we, if you don't know how to put anything in the workstation the right way. It you can to, you can put your butt. How to bring up sensi to strangers that's a really good one because you don't want to come off as salesy i love that how to bring up sensi to strangers angie i love that hostess coaching that one is is another really good one what else we got i love those keep it coming you can say more than one Let's see. I'm gonna start. Aaron, what what's something Just you learn about? Struggles. What is struggle. it? Yeah. What's something that you would like to hear us talk about? I know you show up every week. So what's something you'd like to hear? Um, I really the leader one that you're already talking about is the one I want. Okay. But I'll think about it and I'll put some in the messages. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Elizabeth, what about you? What's something that you would like to hear about? um mine's mainly like the specials and then just like what we've gone over before like the bookings and getting people interested in parties I know so maybe, how, maybe some different booking ideas yeah like I know it's kind of like beating a dead horse with that because I know we've had that talk a bit topic a couple times and you can always go back and re-watch them they are recorded too but yeah mm -hmm. we can come up with maybe some new fun ways like booking right. lists and things like that yeah we could talk because some of these things won't need a whole hour so we could kind of right. maybe put them together i love that uh who hasn't given um anything yet let's see what about iphone amanda what is something that you would like to hear about how to have potential customers run for the hills when they how to oh how to not um okay how to not have potential customers run at the word party first of all i would not ever use the word party but we will definitely get into that um workstation training for new people where to go That's i love that Love, love, love that, Aaron. Workstation. Because it can, I can tell you that workstation now versus workstation when I joined. It's is so different. Confusing. <laughs> when I first yeah. joined, workstation was not as difficult as it is now. Workstation training. I love that. Um, especially if we did it like where you could, the only thing that's going to be hard with the workstation training is we can't really record it because we are numbers will be out like information so that one will be key, but we'll come up with a way to do that where are the low uh, recordings located so they're on youtube um if you just search my name on youtube um all of the past zooms and even the weekly zooms that i do with my team are on there um just yeah just search my name and you'll see tons and videos and then you can even subscribe if you want and then you'll always be able to find it um but yeah um dmo since i just said that what is dmo l dmo i'm not sure i know what dmos are Marcella, Donna, do you know what that is? A DMO? I have no. I wonder if she meant like L, the LTOs. Yeah. yeah. Are, Amanda, do you mean LTO, like the limited time offers? Like um, maybe how to market them or, or, or how to utilize them? Is that what you're asking? We'll have to see. Um, Rachel, what is something that I know that you're fairly new? What is something that you would like to hear us talk about? What's something that would help you? You can type it in the chat or you can unmute yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Dawn, what about you? Megan, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll make a post um, on I the Friday. And I'm not getting any replies. That's why I was like, I'm just going to spit by call people out and just be like, hey, give I me know. something. Yeah. I know. But if you guys How think of anything past this, if you guys Rachel think of anything Smith. past this, how to host more parties dmo daily marketing people. or how to get more people on my facebook page okay how to get new people on facebook i love that i love that we'll put those into one um Daily marketing. Oh, daily marketing. Adding friends daily, commenting on friends post daily, post engagement post, posting engagement posts, replying to stories to get into people's messenger, etc. Oh, I love that. Replying to people's stories to get into their messenger to have conversations. I love that. I don't do that. Um, I'm getting some weird, weird feedback. So I'm going Me to too. everybody and then um we can see where it's it's kind of coming from. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Heck, that I is. I think it was coming from Aaron from her being outside. Oh, maybe that is what it is. I'm not sure. Um, so I love that that. So that's kind of what you want you what you wanted to talk about. So DMO daily marketing, daily marketing. Love that. So adding friends. So I actually don't even add friends daily. Um, I try to do that on Instagram, but on Facebook, um, I think it's hard to kind of add new people. I do it through parties. Like I meet people through parties. I start connecting with them and then I send them a friend's request. Um, that's how I do that. Um, let me see commenting on friends post daily. So how do you, how do you make time to do that? It's just being intentional with your scrolling. Um, we'll definitely talk about that. Um, commenting, how to text people, how to get more people in my VIP people in how to get VIP. So can I show you this really quick? Yes. For this whole Facebook thing. I use this 90 days slay. I think Patty Wonder made it or something like that. I've used that. It's really good. But it literally yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, it's like a really cool thing. Add five new friends on Facebook. Check them off, write their name down, follow up. Mm -hmm. Share opportunity with five people. Ask five people to host any style. Shout out three teamies by voice message. And then there's like a whole other thing. Post six times on Facebook. And then it gives examples of what to post. post post three times on Instagram, post to these different pages, comment on 20 friends posts, and like there's check boxes so that way you know when you're done with it. Happy birthday messages, blah, 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 tons of stuff. That thing really works. So, like, and supposedly, it really works. yeah, and she's, she said if you do it every day for 90 days, I think like maybe Christina Stainbrook had something to do with it. I'm not positive, but, but um, it was something like if you do this for 90 days, I promise you will be a director or something, you know, like in, in three months or whatever it was, something like that. Have so. you done the daily power hour too? Uh, no, I mean, I don't, I'm motivated all different times of the day, but I can't, whenever I can sit down and really do it. It's pretty right, similar right. to the 90 day slay. I like the yeah. 90 day slay better because it's a lot more, there are Bro a lot more, um, different uh what's the word i'm looking for activity like it's broken up instead of it being is. like yeah it is yeah. but some people if they yeah. have an hour some people only have an hour and it helps you know you to get it all in too so but the 90 day slay yeah. only takes an hour like it doesn't take that long to do yeah. all the stuff that's on okay. it okay i've never okay. and if i don't have time and if i don't have time so let's say that like i'm in my car and comment you're cutting up babe post i check them off and now i can keep can you hear me yeah no okay yeah. so 
if I am sitting in my car on a break at work and I comment on five people's posts, I'm never going to remember or be intentional about it. If I have this piece of paper sitting next to me, I'm intentional about it and I'm marking them off as I go. Very good. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. So yeah. it helps me keep track because I can't, I'm not going to remember that I commented on five people. So I'm not, I'll never remember that. And it helps, you know what I, I mean? think so that kind of helps you from just, just this that's why thing. I like it. I like being able to check things off. Do you feel like it kind of helps you from just endlessly scrolling mm-hmm. yeah. and losing time? Yeah, I love that. Karen said, when having more than one party at a time, how do you stay on top of it without visibly scheduling out your posts and being intentional with your time? Um, did anybody else like um, Marcella, Donna, do either of you do more than one party at a time? I've had I'm five. Actually doing, I'm actually doing three right now and I'm not using Visly. Um, and I tell you what's helped me, honestly, I used to use Visly a lot and it wasn't me talking. And I actually learned this from Kirsty. And well, I've heard it a lot, but Kirsty really pounded in my head. Like Kirsty's really funny about letting people be on her team page, letting people be in her VIP page because she wants to be authentically, she wants to be authentic. And I have found where I've used Visly over the past six months and the parties that I'm doing now coming from my, the way I talk and the way I do it, I am definitely getting more feedback and my PRV has actually went up a lot more because it's me talking and all I'm using is the wording in the catalog. I'm not doing anything special. And so I think that just doing your own thing Hold on. What was the question? See, I lost my train of thought already. How do you stay on top of it if you're not using yeah. Visly? Well, yes, you use, you have to post, like when I post in one, I, I do copy that one post and copy it to the other two parties. And I'm kind of running them all together instead of starting one Monday, starting one Tuesday, starting Wednesday, they're all running together. So I can think of one post and post in the other two, just like that. And see, I personally don't do that because like for me, I don't, I can start one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, one on Monday. It doesn't matter because I'm scheduling them out on before they start. Yeah. Or how Megan's new party style is where she has the poll where they're picking what they want to hear about, which there was a zoom done about this. You can go back and listen. Um, it, the, the parties are geared for each party and it's not cookie cutter and you will have more success. It's going to take a little bit more work, but it it's worth it. Yeah. And it's trial and error too. It's definitely more work. Staggered, Karen. Starting them staggered is completely fine because if you don't start them staggered, how are you going to go live in them? Are you going to sit and be live for four hours because you have so many parties that are on the same day? Like on Thursday, I go live and I got to do it on not every. Not necessarily. Time. No, not necessarily. You just want to have time. You have to find what works for you, and this is working for me. So um, we're not all, all going to be on the same page, but it. You know, I haven't got to that point where I've went live yet. I I have actually made my videos. I've made sure my hair's been fixed. I've made sure I've had de- decent sensi clothes on, and I've made a video, and I just post that video. So I can use that video over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, That's I think working. going live is a big I do the same thing. Though. Yeah. So I did the same thing. Video. I did a video for every single product that we had. I used the video and I started on the exact same day. I start, I have to start all my parties on the same day too, Marcella, because my mind is in no man's land. Like I cannot start it on Tuesday, Friday. Like I can start that. I can start two of them on Friday and yeah. be on Friday or I can start yeah. them on Wednesday or I can start them on Tuesday. But if I have two, three, four parties going at the same time, I need them to start on the same day. Otherwise I am so, I forget yeah. what I'm doing pretty much. Like my, yeah. my mind's just too all over the place. I can't hey, keep Aaron, track. I keep yeah. muting you, Aaron, just because your phone is for some reason doing like some alien noise or something. I'm not sure, but that's why I didn't want you to think I was being rude. And that's why I was muting you, but go ahead and say what you were going to say. I just wanted you to know. Sorry. I was just going to say, I do like four or five parties at once and I just quit using Bisley too. Um, 
but I've been doing the poll thing too, where I ask everybody what they want to see. And I just have all of my posts already like ready to copy and paste from my phone. And then I have all the pictures in their own little like folder for like, say they wanted to do warmers and wax and warmer bundles that day. I have all of those posts in one folder in my notes um, on my phone because I just broke my laptop. Usually it's on my laptop. But then I also have the folder with my pictures ready to go for if they say warmers and wax and warmer bundles too. Yeah, that's perfect. And whatever noise it was your phone was doing, well, it stopped while you were talking. So it just must be when you're not talking, it's doing it. Um, I will say if you have several parties going at once and you are doing it like they said on the same day and you're copying the post and putting it in each one, your account will can be flagged as spam. So keep yeah, that in mind. But usually they like all four parties aren't going to ask you to show them the same thing. Right, right. Absolutely. Love that. I love that. Yes, yep. That is exactly what Megan's doing right now too. Um, it is 10 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording in case anything wants to be said while we're not recording. So stop.